Good morning and hello to another lovely day here in Austria. After a little excursion to Vienna yesterday, I thought I'll do a little bit more local stuff and I walked from my hometown to a little town called Luxembourg. And there's a big, big park in it with two castles and I'm standing in front of the oldest one at the moment and I thought I could give you a little walk around here. And I forgot something, this is for Terry before he says anything else again. So, I brought it today. <laughs> so, here we have now the Altes Schloss, which is the German name, and it simply means oldest or old castle. And it goes back to the times of Emperor Frederick III. We have a little inscription of, his, of him and his time still in the castle. We also find the film archives of Austria in here. So let's have a look. This castle was badly damaged during the World War II, but it was rebuilt and has now several offices in it. And as I mentioned already, the film archives. So this is the first part of it. We have the old well here. Nothing in it anymore, it seems. And here on the other side we have the old chapel, which was also restored during the times of Empress Maria Theresia, the times of the Habsburg. Unfortunately, it's not open. I can't get in, which I would love to see though, but uh, you can rent it for uh, weddings, which looks quite amazing though. And that's it. That's the first room. A little bit up here too. And then we wander on to the next. And in the very back here we have a part of the park already, which we can go through. And this is the second half. And if you look up here, which is up there, this is for Emperor Frederick III. And it's recognition of this castle. It seems to be the oldest building in the town of Luxembourg. We have another one which I will go and find in the next about half an hour or so, I guess. So this is now the old castle, this Alte Schloss. So I nearly forgot to tell you what the inscription means. We have a lovely, lovely description here in English and German. And it says here, let me see, Frederick III, Roman Emperor, Archduke of Austria, Sturia, Duke of Corinthia, and Caniola, the Earl of Tyrol, etc. The greatest happiness is forgetting the things you do not wish for again. Here is now the Lion Bridge. It's not that hard to understand why they called it the Lion Bridge. One big lion here, the other one there. This was once the main entrance to the park. And those lions were seen as the guardians of the park. And a lovely wee pond in the middle of the park. Of course you need that in a park, I mean, there's no question about that. So we have another view of the lovely pond. And I think that on the other side of this bridge, there should be the other castle. There is a little ferry that brings you to it, and we will see how it looks like. So here we have now the Gothic bridge, and it seems to symbolize the nature, and it stands for artistic achievements, which tells me this little information board. So it comes quite handy if you have something like this standing around next to you. So let's walk up. I also made a little mistake. This is not a pond, it is a grotto. And we have a beautiful view over the water on both sides. Let's have a look on this side here. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Reminds me a little bit of the Lufko Palace. <laughs> At least uh, the pond there, yeah. not the palace itself. And here we have the other side. This here is a pretty amazing spot in this park. This here was the place for the tournaments. So it seems that this 
this place here was built in the late 1700s and uh, all the reigning monarchs were able to, to join the tournament or watch them and see their knights in shining armor. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's all fenced up, so I can't find a way in. So, well, unfortunately, that's it. I can't show you more. I'm very excited now. We found what we came here for. And this is this beauty. All my friends know that I have a passion for castles. Doesn't matter if they are ruined or not. And uh, here we have a new one. As I mentioned already in one of my earlier videos, if you live here, you never do such things. But this time is over, and we'll see if we can go inside somewhere. And maybe we get more surprises. Be another good view of the pond. Back to that. So we're fortunate we are able to, to go inside, which is pretty cool. And a good view here. So this castle is now called the Franzenburg, the Franzen Castle, which is named after the Emperor Franz I, one of our Habsburg monarchs. Otherwise, it doesn't tell me much here. It says it was started to be built in 1798. I was finished in 1801 and we have a few more buildings with it in 1835 it seems. So let's go inside, absolutely gorgeous. So this is the courtyard. We have a little museum here which is unfortunately not open but it might just be because of the winter months. Dying to get into that. So we'll go to the museum. beautiful terracotta color and you see all those heads up there the details and there's also a little museum shop which of course you have to go in if you go anywhere because there might be some nice souvenirs for you to take with you let's walk on this is where we came in. We are very fortunate, there's not many people around here. A few joggers, but they just run away anyway. Doesn't bother us. And here we have another little courtyard in a moment. See all those beautiful details. As you might know, we Austrians love a co good coffee. I personally am not a coffee drinker, but you will find a wee coffee houses in every spot. He would be one too, but as you see, it's closed too. He will definitely be open in the summer again. And that's it. So if you ever be able to get into the museum, you will get more information about all of this. So if you look back, So that's from me for today. I haven't seen everything by far not. I just found a, a map and I know now what I haven't seen yet. But that's another reason, good reason to come back again. And yeah, that's it for today. Hope you're all well. I wish you a Merry Christmas or don't know when I post the video if it's after Christmas then. Hope you had a lovely Christmas and hopefully we will see each other soon. And right, wait, I forgot about it again. But till uh, so Bye bye